you purchased insoles that don't match the bottom of your shoe last. You can fix it. But there is one important condition. The height, the heel height of the insole must match the heel height of the shoe last. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the bell button to be notified when my new video will come up. Now, let's start. Learn how to make shoes with my step-by-step -step video courses. So I have this insole that match the shape of the wedge because it has same heel height like my shoe last, but it doesn't match the shape of the toe, the front part of the shoe last. So how to resolve this problem? Now I will adjust this insole to the shape of the shoe last that I want to work with. Usually uh, we must have the pattern of the insole, but if you don't have, you can work with the edge of your shoe last, copying the edge of the shoe last to the new part of the insole that we will attach to the old one, okay? This is how we will adjust. We will create new part of the front part of the shoe last that will match exactly the edge of the shoe last bottom and we will rebuild it to the existing insole. Let's do it. Because I don't have a insole pattern right now and I will want to make it fast, I will fix this shoe, shoe insole to my, in, to my shoe last with nail. Okay, just to keep it on the right place. Now, you see, all this I need to rebuild. And I will rebuild it using Texan board, the same material from which we construct our insoles. In my tools kit, I have boards to create insoles by yourself, okay? And this is where you can take this part to rebuild your insole. You see, it extends here, so I will cut this extra and I will add extra on the outer side of this shoe last. So you see, the part that I need to add, starting from this point where I have the edge of the shank board. But I will not cut right here in this place because I want to use the part of the taxon as an underline. Remember that always in pattern making, in shoe pattern making, we add underline to the bigger part of our pattern. So I will cut this insole to, to uh, attach another piece of the insole. In this place will be the one point. It's about uh, underline, you remember, it's eight, eight millimeters. So if I will not have here this shank board, I will cut here and add here eight millimeters. But because of the shank board, I add uh, eight millimeters on this place. Then see where you need to fix your insole. In my case, you see I have not enough insole on this place, on this edge. So I move lower on eight millimeters here. And here will be eight millimeters, the underline, where we'll start my new part of the insole that I will attach, okay? So I will cut through these two points okay before i will cut i will place my cardboard here texan use this part okay and i will mark here the edge of the insole the old one with these two points this is the edge of the insole of my old insole here will be the edge, the end of the insole, you see? I will make it with ruler after it, okay? But I need to have the underline, so here, you see, it's not enough. Sorry, let's make it another place because I forgot to add underline. So it will be here and here, the underline. And this place we need to copy. So this line will be the edge of my insole and this one with the underline will be here, okay? So that's why I should have these two points. And now we 
need to copy the new line of the insole. We can copy it exactly following the bottom edge or make it bigger and cut it after we will attach this piece. Let's do it like this. Add extra 8 millimeters around the needed line. Cut it out from this part, from this side where you mark this line. It's thick, so you will need to cut it a few times until you will cut it out. And here is these two points. Before I will cut it out, I want to check if I did it correctly okay see here this is the underline and underline here of this part because we need to attach it with the underline because if we will cut exactly we will not have place where to attach and this one I will cut out okay so right now I will cut here and I will attach it to these two points uh, to the line where I have these two points let's make it uh, let's draw this line to see it and now let's take off the insole you know, maybe I took too much about underline, but now you will understand it. <laughs> it's sometimes difficult to explain certain steps, but when you will see them, you will understand. Okay, so this is the line that I need to cut out. And this is how I will attach it. You see this edge of the um, insole helps me to know how to attach it exactly. This edge must be attached to this line, okay? So this is the underline that I talked about and we have it on the bigger part of our pattern. And, but I can't attach it like this because I will have here this thick edge here and thick edge on the inner side of the insole. So we need to skive it. Okay, so I will skive this part until the line and I will skive here to create smooth transition between these two parts. Okay, so let's skive. Uh, usually we need to skive on the marble board or glass board. Here, you see it's not thin enough, let's scarf it more and starting from the edge here we need to scarf in this way. It must, it must be almost zero, this edge, so we will create smooth transition between two parts okay now when I will place it you will not see any difference between two parts same thing here and it's easier to scarf it on on this side because of the uh, insole has this shape and you see it's very difficult to keep it on the edge so I will keep it right this but we be very careful to not Cut too much and sky. It's 
skive it by steps and see where you need to skive more. You know, if it will be much easier to skive on this part, placing it on the uh, side of your table, you can do it. But because I need to show you on this part of my table, I do it like this. Okay? Now, see if you scarfed it enough. It must be very smooth transition between two parts on both sides of our insole. Here I still have extra material that I need to scarf. Okay, and now I will place glue here on this part and on the inner side of this part and will attach it. Okay, so after you will place glue, you will need to wait. 10-15 minutes until glue will dry and now let's attach these two parts place it in the way where the edge of our smaller piece of the insole matches the line that we drawn before and now let's Now, it's important that here on the inner side of the insole, you will not feel any edge of the insole. That that's means that you need to scarf it very well. So before you will place glue, check if place two pieces together and check if you feel this edge of the insole. And here also, it must be a smooth transition between two parts, okay? Now, we need to cut extra. Here it would be great if you will have a pattern of the insole, of the last to which you adjust your insole. If you don't have, you can place it on the insole and cut according to the edge of the insole. Now let's place nails. You see here I will need to cut extra and I will cut it following the edge of the shoeless bottom. Okay, right now I will need to cut the extra following the edge. Here be very careful in this place, cut it by steps, okay? Now on the other side. You see this is how you must hold your knife between your fingers like this. And uh, if you want here in this place to keep it well and to follow the edge of the insole, the edge of the shoe bottom. You can place here more nails, so it will be, it will lay very tightly here. It's too extends here from the edge, so I will fix it. Okay, and now uh, you know this uh, way of cutting. Uh, can be difficult for you as a beginners. So what you can do, you can cut following the pattern of your insole, okay? Here, so you can cut by steps. You see, I'm not reaching the edge from the first cut, so I do it by steps. What is important here, that you need to keep your knife in 90 degrees angle, so not like this, because if you will cut like this, you will reduce the insole. So place it in 90 degrees angle and cut. Right now I do it by steps. And in the place where it extends you can cut more. Now here You know, it, it's very difficult to hold like this because I need to hold it to show it. When you will work, you will hold it on your leg. Okay, and now we can 
sand it with sandpaper to make it line smoother. So um, use here um, sandpaper with grid 120 for example. You can overlap ruler and sand. You see, I, I, uh, I'm working like this, showing it for you, but you should sit well in a comfortable way and do it on your lap, okay? That's it, you see, now we have, it extends a little bit here, you can see it, I will cut here. You see, like right now, it has smooth line, and it uh, matches exactly the shoe bottom of this last. Now we can take it off. And you will have insole that match the bottom of your shoe last. Okay, if you can see that it has still some non-even edges, take it off from the shoe last and continue working on the edge, for example here. And you will have insole that will match exactly the shoe uh, bottom of your, uh, the bottom of your shoe last. Now do same corrections to the second half of your insoles. In this tutorial, I show how to adjust your insoles to the bottom of your shoe last without pattern making. But for you as a beginners in shoe making, I suggest to make first a pattern and then follow this pattern of your shoe last, adjust the insoles that you have. That's it. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the bell button to be notified when my new video will come out. Thank you again and see you in the next video. Bye.